this video I am going to show you how we can self host uh, ASP.NET Web API uh, as a console application. Here we are going to use uh, Owen to self host uh, the Web API framework. Uh, so, uh, in order to uh, make this uh, happen, we need to download a package uh, which is Microsoft.ASP.NET dot web api uh, dot oven self host so you can just uh, uh, do a new get uh, for this package uh, in visual studio and this uh, assembly uh, which is required for self hosting with oven will be installed on your machine once uh, this is done then you will go to visual studio and then uh, you need to create a class which will be basically a uh, uh, startup class for uh, the application or basically for the web API. So and, uh, and then it will launch that application. So here uh, you can see this is a startup class out here and then it has got a method called configuration and to it we are passing I app builder. This is uh, the interface which has got method which uh, we are using out here huge web api so we are we are saying this app we are telling this app builder that you know you need to create an instance of uh, web api framework uh, with this particular configuration so this is basically a startup class that we need to do need to uh, create in uh, in order to host uh, self host uh, a web API uh, using Oven, and uh, then uh, you need to have a console application. So I have created uh, this console application, which is uh, called Web API Self Hosted uh, um, uh, Project. And then uh, you can see here I have this uh, class, startup class, and then I have this uh, program. So uh, in this uh, console program, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm basically defining a base address, which I will use uh, in order to uh, make calls to the web API, which is getting hosted uh, by this class. So, and then uh, I'm saying that, okay, so web app, a web app need to be started off type startup which is this startup and uh, on the URL base address which is this one then uh, to make calls to this uh, um, uh, startup uh, um, uh, uh, to this web API which is hosted using this startup class we need to create a HTTP client so we are creating a HTTP client out here and then we are calling a, a method on on this uh, on this uh, as by by using this HTTP client on on the hosted web API. So and we are getting the response here. Then we are writing this response on the console window. Now just to see uh, what this particular um, client call is going to return. Let's go to our uh, controller which I have written inside this uh, self host project only so since this is going to be everything so in this project we will have host we will have our controllers also so I have written uh, here the uh, value controller which is uh, the default controller that gets added when, when we when we add a new controller so in here I have this method get method which is uh, basically returning to uh, string values value 1 and value 2 so this is the method which we are calling out here in this uh, uh, console program so again let's uh, do recap uh, in order to host uh, self host a uh, web api using oven we need to download this uh, package once that package is installed then we need to create this uh, self host class which is uh, basically a startup class this is the one which is going to launch a web api and uh, then we are using uh, this class out here 
in uh, the program so this is where uh, this web api is being hosted with Owen. once the web api is hosted then we can make a call to it uh, using a http client and then this client is returning a response from this default controller which i have written so now let's run it and see uh, how it goes so you can see here it's the console application it has started running now uh, let's come inside this class program which is uh, static main for any console application so i'm just uh, doing this uh, base address assignment now here it has launched this uh, this uh, startup class with this base address so you can see here here is the action happening so api is getting hosted in this uh, line now here we are creating a client a http client and then we are using this client to make a call to this uh, web api which is self hosted so you can see we have got uh, this response out here and then we are writing this response to the console you can see here we have got this uh, this uh, output from the controller which is values values and this is the whole uh, response uh, out here which we got so this is how you can self-host uh, asp.net web api using oven